Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of Meta Bros. I am Multi Potion. This is my bro, Metacrax. Welcome back, everyone, to our continued set review of UFO. We are now on to Earth, and I don't really know any of these bigger beasties. It's probably the least exciting aura type, but there are a couple key cards, I think, that are going to be really good. Okay, any that you've played yet? Yeah, I've played all these cards. I've tried them all out. Okay, um, all right. But there's only certain ones I really like. All right. Did you yeah. do it in an Earth build, or did you supplement them into a multi-aura deck? I've tried them out both ways. It's mostly, not a lot of them are, the Crocodingo is the easiest one to cast in multiple aura types because it's got the neutral. Um, the other, you'll see what I mean. There's okay. just, there's not a lot going on here for Earth, but I mean, Boulder, Boulder Bash is really good. So we'll get to that. And then there's a couple up in the rares that are really good too, but not nearly as relevant. Spoiler alert, not nearly as relevant as the other aura types. There's only like seven of them. Yeah. Outside of the couple rares at the top. It's a, I think it's one of the lower counts of cards in the UFO set. Yeah. Um, but I like that Metazoo's do doing that. They're mm -hmm. doing the, you know, the real boost to the flavor of the set. The right. UFO, the cosmic, perfect. We're right. guessing Seance, mm -hmm. Spirit, and Dark, which is going to be amazing. Um, and after seeing the Dark cards from yesterday, they already did step up Dark a lot. I yeah. like the little tricky tech that they're doing with the casting from the cemetery and, mm -hmm. you know, all this cycling and looping. Yeah, that's kind of what I was trying to say. Like, the Dark cards only got like eight cards or something but they're eight cards that are mostly really good like there are a mm -hmm. lot of material that i can see getting used in powerful powerful ways that could work their way into a meta if not now at some point these cards most of them i'm like borderline useless Ooh. but then some of them are like really really good so well, let's hey, just get into let's it. Let's get into them. Uh, yep. Before we do, guys, if you're enjoying the show, thanks for watching. Appreciate all the likes and comments. And if you're looking for more MetaZoo content, you could go to Caster Society on YouTube. Link in the description below. Hit subscribe on both channels. We'd love you for that. Absolutely. I know they would too. Also, big shout out to all our patrons. You guys are amazing. Thank you so much for the support. If you would like to support us as well, you can go to patreon.com backslash metabros with a Z. Yeah, thank you guys. Seriously. All right, let's get into it. So first up, we have the... Gowro, the Gowro, 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 like how, pow, wow. Mm -hmm. Okay, Beastie, Gowro, two per spell book, contraction cost two earth, life point sixty. Has the the stone skin trait, gets ten bonus to the attack if the earth terra is ground in, terra. Ground <clears throat> terra. I'll never be able to do it right. No. Ground terra is in play. Uh, fourth wall effect destroyed. You may only use this effect if you did not speak this turn. Interesting. If this is the first time this beastie is destroyed this turn, you may place it in the arena with 20 maximum LP. Mm -hmm. Okay. Frenzied attack, base damage 30, fourth wall. If this attack damaged a caster, that caster may yell out in pain. If they do, this beastie loses stone skin until the end of the turn. Yeah, so this guy is, uh, in, in Magic, what we would call like Sacrifice Fodder. This is a card that you can use to activate effects that involve having to destroy one of your own beasties. Like there's a release event leader in the set. We would have to go to a different website to get to it, but um, it's called Janowska, and Janowska's ability says destroy an Earth beastie you control, destroy target beastie. So this guy would be an ideal target for that because you would destroy this guy, and as long as you hadn't spoken, he would come back in. But I'm going to tell you right now, not speaking during your turn is very tough to pull off with like while being able to communicate clearly to your opponent it's really difficult because there's a lot of little checks that happen throughout the turn people just being like bookmark awaken you know i'm gonna do this and they're checking with you and stuff like that so you can you can be totally silent i'm just saying i think it, it has potential to create some weird situation i think it's cool but i don't now it also i also it think you're not... gonna screw yourself on the effect like i said like mm. you're gonna speak by accident and then you do, and you like blow the mechanic of the whole card, you know? That's that's just my opinion on it. I mean, I'm not gonna say that I'm gonna be able to hold it down with the no talking thing. Yeah, it's tough, dude. <laughs> Flavor text, this large lizard uses its bladed tail to defend its barrel-sized eggs from intruders. The Gao Rao is extremely territorial, even against livestock that mean no harm to it. Next card, we have the Beastie Mummy, San Pedro Mountains Mummy. You can have three per spell book, contraction cost one neutral, one earth, life points 45. Has the stone skin trade again, 20 bonus to the attack if the mountain terror is in play. Fourth wall effect, earthly magic. Let's get in there. Oh, look at the little uh, cave mm -hmm. drawings. That's awesome. Mm -hmm. Little aliens. Who's this in the back? You see uh, those? Yeah, I can't quite tell. Maybe the forest elemental looks like a moth man maybe even poking out. Yeah. Maybe a chibi moth. All right. We've got the earthly magic. Fatigue this beastie. If you are wearing a bandage wrap, reveal the top three pages of your spellbook. 
If a Terra or an Earth or a page was revealed, place one of those pages into your chapter. Place the remaining pages on the bottom of your spellbook in any order. Okay, I mean, that shouldn't be hard to pull off. It basically is giving you a consistent scry for Aura or Terra. Yes, but the painful part is you have to put them on the bottom of your spellbook. So if you look mm. at the top cards and you're like, I wish I had that. I needed those. They're all going to the bottom now. Yeah. 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 This is, you'll, guys, get ready. I love Earth Aura type. I don't necessarily love a lot of these cards. I'm just like, I'm not going to play that much love, though. Earth Power is the attack base damage 10. If you contracted both an Aura and a Terra Page this turn, this attack inflicts confused. I but mean, you have to contract both an Aura and yeah, a Terra Page and it costs to get that. Too. <laughs> yeah. I don't know. I mean, no, that's like, a really stretch no, to no make thanks, stuff guys. cool yeah. um, in terms of like mechanics. So yeah. Flavor Text says, some casters are intrigued by the origins of this small mummy. Others think about how it's the tiniest little waste of time. But <laughs> what does it think? That's ironic. It is a tiny waste of time. But I do really like the art. And if you guys don't know the actual story of the San Pedro Mountains, oh, mummy, that's awesome. you should go look it up because it is crazy. And Pepper did a great job of representing it there. Uh, spell, Arid, Drought, three per spellbook, contraction cost, two, Earth. This must be the first page you can track this turn. Until the end of the next turn, Earth pages in the arena lose all Terra bonuses. Water and pages. Oh, Water boy. Pages in the arena. Jeez, I got to move in. The, uh, the color on the screen is definitely looking like mud from back here that is a very dark blue it's okay. very dark yeah so until the end of the next turn water pages in the arena lose all terra bonuses and non aura water pages cost one more water to contract you may only contract earth pages until the end of this turn okay that's a very specific <laughs> set of mechanics for a card i don't know how often i would play somebody please tell me how to use this I guess yeah, it's yeah, until the end, the, 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 the end of the next turn. No, nope. yeah, I don't know. I don't know how to bonuses. use this one. And non aura water pages cost one more. I can pay four aura to make your flood the earth cost one more aura. Two, right? Or I can pay two aura. Sorry, I can pay two aura to make your flood the earth cost one more aura the next turn. I don't know. And I, I take away a little bit of your. I mean, I take away all the terror bonuses, but really the main hitter for me is chessy that is not a terra bonus it's a bonus from all the other water pages right. and that still stays so chessy's still swinging big uh frog can stu still do their thing yep if you're up at five flood you might as well be up at six like you've got a lot of water if you're playing torrential or chessy or anything someone tell me how to use this card yeah, effectively all right. uh flavor text extinction extinction can come from many forms some natural some not so natural but isn't everything natural isn't, there's nothing that's unnatural because everything's mm -hmm. nature to some extent. Yeah, that's arguable, yeah. All right, next card. Crocodingo. The Crocodingo. <laughs> I did not do a good accent. <laughs> I don't even know what I just did there. I had an extra syllable. I love Beastie this guy. Crocodingo. Six per spellbook. Contraction costs one neutral. One earth. Life points 50. Has the burrow trait. All right, I already like you, Crocodingo. Ten bonus if the earth terra, mountain terra, ground, ground terra. terra. Only the ground care, guys. Just no earth or... Mountain Terra on this guy, yeah. just the ground Terra bonus. It's just the ground damage. Terra. And then uh, 10 life points of the farm Terra. Mm -hmm. Arena. At the end of this turn, if this beastie did not declare an attack, awaken it. Oh, oh, that's so good for Caster Gun. Yes. That that's, is, yes. That is definitely. Could on you get the, in, in a second lab. attack if it was the end of turn? Mm -mm. So why would you be awakening it? Why would For that... a blocker. Read the uh, attack effect. Oh, okay. Uh, snapping bite. Wait a second. This reminds me of Hungry Hungry Hippos. <laughs> the ting -ting. Remember mm -hmm. that? Mm -hmm. Of course you do. 10 damage base. This attack deals plus 40 damage if this beastie was declared as a defender. Are you at a two drop who can burrow, mm -hmm. who could be hitting for up to 50 or even 60 with the terror bonus and have 60 life points? But it's only 60 if he's a defender. And the, the reason why I said read the attack effect is so the arena effect will awaken him the turn you bring him out, right? You contract him, he's fatigued. Boom. You end the turn, he didn't attack, he awakens. Now you have a blocker right away if you want to use him. And that blocker will block for 50 damage or if it's hitting a lightning page, 70 damage. So I think Crocodingo has utility definitely like you said as a target for the caster gun i think this guy is a great caster gun because he'll be able to use the caster gun every turn and then he'll wake up and be able to block if you need him to if you um, need him to yeah. yeah you're right it's just giving you an added benefit it's nice yep okay it's nice but i do miss the convert that guy scootus has i well, do love that guy I scootus mean, has that convert yeah. yeah all right flavor tech says Sometimes people wonder if the dingoes took their baby those have not seen the crocodingo 
know the actual correct answer. That last sentence is those who have seen the crocodingo know the actual answer. Now that sentence makes sense. <laughs> yeah. Thank you. Mm -hmm. All right. Next card, guys. The beastie giant Sherman Beasts. Three per spell book, contraction cost two neutral, three earth, life points 90. Has a defender trait, so life points will be doubled when it's not your turn, temporarily. 25 bonus if the Swamp Terra is in play, to the attack that is. Fourth wall effect, let's zoom in here. We have the caster who controls this beastie must declare attacks in slotion. If... They do not. This beastie does not awaken at the start of their next turn. Strength together is the power. Fatigue this beastie. Target another beastie giant you control. Until the end of the next turn, whenever that beastie is dealt damage, you may deal that damage to this beastie instead. Interesting. Mm -hmm. Okay. So five costs. Well, it's not that many life points, but it does have the defender, so temporarily doubling. Big swipe is the attack, dealing a base damage of 40 or up to 65 with the Swamp Terra bonus. Okay. Yeah, these guys, they're okay. I mean, they, they were great in the release event because they're so big and strong, so just dealing with them can be an issue, but they can get swallowed right up by any of the top tier beasties like Cats or Chessy or anything like that. But right. I do think that the, the coolest thing about them is a lot like Cardiff Giant, they cost two neutral and three earth aura, which yeah. means if, if you're playing Tehi Han, they just cost two neutral. Uh, Cardiff Giant is insanely good for two neutral. Uh, that's like a five star card. I think these guys oh, yeah. are like, these are like an eh, these are like a 2.5 to three star card for two neutral. They're pretty good. That, that Beastie Giant moving damage around doesn't help all that much. Like you can spread out some damage, but if you're dealing with a Ketz or a Mothman or something that's swinging for 90 or 100, it doesn't really matter where you send that damage. No, I mean, I just think anytime I see 90, I think Lightning Split, Ketz, I don't yeah. care. Yeah. Like anything over 90, that presses my brain to start thinking oh now it's two yeah. cards or two attacks or two turns it's yep. it automatically and if i'm going to pay five uh, give me cardiff like just yep. give me two indexes and cardiff or two necros and cardiff because mm -hmm. uh frank shaw is the one who can't be affected by spells right status pages. effects status effects yeah grafton can't be affected by non-beastie pages so grafton actually can't be grabbed by necro mm -mm. yeah grafton can't be necro right, he the can't bottle. be indexed yeah Okay, well, that's yeah. different. I take that back. But still, if I'm going for a bigger beastie, there's a lot of beasties who for five give me more. Yeah. We're kind of hating on Earth. We're not really hating on Earth. Look, We're look not really... it is what it is, guys. We're giving you a real opinion on this. Yeah, I think the it. majority of these cards are not going to make it up into, into the top decks. of the meta. Yeah, That's all. That's really all. We're, yeah, yeah. We're being strict or whatever, uh, coming back from the competitive This play. card is going to be everywhere. All right. So this, in my opinion, might be the best Earth card in the whole set, including the rares. But the rares are pretty good. But this is maybe better. Let's talk about it. We've got the spell Boulder Bash. Three per spell, but contraction costs two earth. Target two separate beasties and deal 25 damage to each. Well, that's great. All right. It's like a double fireball without the burn. Yep. Or target beasties dealt 50 damage. Of course. Yeah. So this that's is what earth has been missing. It's essentially a rock ring worth five, but mm -hmm. you're getting it for two. That's beautiful. You know? And it's insanely good. And then up against lightning, it's still going to do an additional 20 damage. And if you would split that up between 25 beasties, that's 45 damage to two different yeah. lightning beasties. It's bad. That's awesome. I love it. All right. Yep. That's totally cool. So basically with two of these and four, you could take out two Ketzes mm -hmm. and then you still have one and your rock reigns if you want to deal more damage. Yeah. That's pretty sweet. Yeah. I like it. All right. Flavor text says this boulder bash is sure to make a smash and a graveyard. All right. One more spell earth shattering quake two per spell, but contraction cost four earth. That's awesome art. Mm -hmm. Destroy all Terra pages in the arena. Deal 10 damage to each beastie and artifact in the arena for each Terra destroyed. Okay. You definitely have to be building up to something for this. You'd have to plan this. This isn't an accident or like a, you know, hope this does something. I feel like you'd be playing almost like a beastie list spell book, but that's not going to work with earth. Yeah. You don't want to lose your own beasties, and right. that's a lot of Terra Page commitment for four. I don't know. But I do think this would operate similarly to a Rock Rain, where I think that each of those 10 damages are a different instance. Because it's it's not saying destroy all Terra Pages in the arena, deal X 10 you know, damage, where X is the number of Terra destroyed. They're saying deal 10 damage for to each beastie and artifact in the arena for each Terra destroyed, which to me says that each Terra would kind of be its own instance of yeah, 10 damage. Of so you could, to Lightning Pages, you could use this as a wipe, you know, but 
Earth's you need binding a lot of terror. is just objectively a better card. Yeah, Earth's binding better. is just better. And it so, costs four also. Yeah, so this is cool, but... It takes a massive amount of setting up. I mean, think about it. Yeah. To have it do... Well, let's just say... You, you got seven terror slots. How much... is Seven, right? Mm-hmm. How many do we... How, have, has anyone ever filled them? I, we just haven't. <laughs> uh, in our own games. I think the most we've it's each happened, had... It's happened, but rarely. Has, of course, yeah. yeah. I'm just saying. It doesn't happen often enough to like you know, guarantee the application yeah. of this card. And it does take you every single Terra page to deal 10 damage. I'd rather just cast a couple Rock Rains. Yeah. But I will say this, like, if you compare it to Earth's Binding, which, like, I just, just got finished saying, I think is an objectively better card. They are similar. They're the same cost. And this one is going to deal 10 damage to each beastie and artifact in the arena. Earth's Binding is only going to hit the beasties. Earth's Binding is also only going to do 10 damage. Okay. But Earth's Binding takes away Flight, first strike and it makes all other earth pages for the rest of the turn deal 10 more damage so So those bonuses i think make it worth it but i do think this is like somewhat comparable you get to just like if if we were playing it against lightning i'd get to destroy your lightning storm i deal 30 damage to all your beasties in the arena you know and your artifacts so i destroy your glass too and stuff like that i think it's decent i think it's decent yeah all right i see a lot of these earth cards being uh fully realized later when there's more mechanics and they can surprise you yeah yeah. Okay. If there, yeah, if there were more cards that like benefited, like whenever a terror was destroyed, they would get some bonus. I'd be like, that's cool. Come Is there on. a way to bring out multiple aura or terror right now with Earth and make it easier? Is there anything to step that up other than like you know the um, sewer terror? Oh, there's no, that, that makes you know. Good. There's like the mummy right. that we just got finished ragging on, and then there's uh, excavation and stuff. But all those are kind of, in my opinion, bad options. Don't, don't play yeah. excavation ever. Don't do yeah, that. Yeah. Give your opponent your deck and tell them to rearrange it. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, shout out to Smitty. Your story. I'm still thinking you're, about it when you're like, you're I felt man. so bad for that kid, but also that kid. So, all right. The invasion is taking its toll on Earth, but in particular, the changes in the tide and the increased frequency of earthquakes are particularly dangerous. My guess here is I think that moving into UFO, R&D thought that we were going to go super heavy on Terra, trying to activate the wind conditions and trying to maximize out our beasties and stuff like that. And it still might happen. And we're still playing Terra, just not I don't think we're playing it nearly as much as like they were expecting. Like like my bro said, when are you going to get up to a full arena worth of Terra? You know, it's very rare. I see it down the line when there is more Terra acceleration or application for removing moving and doing a lot of damage if you could turn terra into beasties or I'd turn aura that. into terra or turn terra <laughs> that was aura and a beastie i don't know what i'm saying glistening beach rock artifact essence two per spell book contraction costs zero earth life points 50 you may fatigue this artifact at any time to generate one earth and one water aura you may not control more than two artifact essences in the arena so we finally have that mud aura the water mm-hmm. and the earth mixed mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. wonderful awesome Look out, lightning. All right. I think we have maybe one or two more cards. This yep. guy here. Proctor Valley Monster. So we've got a beastie Proctor Valley Monster, one per spell, but contraction cost, two neutral, four earth, life points 120, has a defender trait and the regen trait, 25 bonus to the attack if the ground terra. Mm-hmm. And, or the mountain terra is in play. Yep. Arena, whenever an opposing caster contracts a spell, awaken this beastie. Cool, but okay. I mean, sure. Charging Assault, 50. Base damage. If no defenders were declared this combat, this attack deals plus 50 damage. Awesome. Yeah. All right. Yeah, I like like this guy. He's a big swinger, and honestly, it's... So many people will will reactively cast spells on their turn. They'll they'll do a bookmark, you know, and then you're like, cool, he wakes up. Or they'll attack you, and then they'll go to play another spell to, like, think about what they want to do next. And you're like, cool, I'm just going to wake him back up. Yeah, this guy's great. I've had him wake up multiple times in turns before, and people are just like, damn it. Like, Also, uh, it's a six cost with regen Mm -hmm. that starts at 120 LP. Yes, right out of the range to make things easy to remove. Big boy. And then with the attack bonus, if you're only going to deal damage with this dude, uh, if there's no defenders, Mm -hmm. then this guy deals an additional 50. 100 damage to caster, plus the terror bonuses, up to 150 damage. Yeah, it's a big beastie, man. Yep. Mm -hmm. With the double life points when it's not your turn, and the regen to help recover those life points to keep him alive. He's good. Yeah, he's pretty cool, Mm -hmm. I gotta admit. And the art's awesome. He's one of those cards that, like, he reads okay. He's not, I wouldn't call him a highly tech card, though that awakening ability is pretty tech. But really, he's just big and nasty. And when he comes out, when you're up against it, you're just like, 
oh no that guy you know like oh it's just so big and like you said the regen the damage the awakening yeah mm -hmm. it's a good yeah. card he's an awesome blocker mm -hmm. this particularly insane and aggressive bovine chases down humans as they drive by proctor valley beware its powerful charge as this beastie is dangerously muscular oh man shout out to arthur that's arthur on the card <laughs> um all right moving on we have one more earth beastie i believe mm -hmm. this is the last one so here we are with the beastie dinosaur mountain boomer four per spell book contraction cost three earth life points 50 10 bonus the attack if the mountain terror is in play tribal boost love that it will be giving and getting plus 10 life points and plus 10 attack attack damage for every other beastie dinosaur in the arena fourth wall effect if you are within 100 feet of a road this beastie gains 10 plus lb lp and 10 plus damage so, so that's i mean that's very easy to turn on a tournament yes, but well i don't know about that in a tournament where it's terror only I don't think this would be active. No, sorry. Yeah. It would be a pseudo fourth wall. You know, they're allowing local stuff. Yeah. You're right. Yeah. Terra only doesn't, it's not, not going to happen ever. Unless you do like cul-de-sac and there's a road in the cul-de-sac, but that's getting vague. It's not a road Terra. It's just, and is that a street? And what's the difference between a street and a road? Mm -hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm going too far. I think you are. Yeah. Smashing, no, wait, arena effect. If mountain Terra is active, this beastie gains first strike. Okay. No, that's really good. And slashing strike, base damage 30. This attack deals plus 20 damage if this is your first attack of the turn. All right. So a three drop, 50 life point, potentially hitting for up to 60 first strike tribal. with tribal. Yeah. This card's amazing. This yep. is a card that is not going to fit right now into the current meta just because dinos aren't really a big build. And although we have a lot of water dinosaurs, the three earth cost of this card and the lack of aura reduction in this set, we don't get a cheat card like we did in the Wilderness and the Cryptid Nation set in the spell books. So uh, you can't really cheat this guy out, which makes him hard to contract. But when he's out with other dinosaurs, he's so good. So I think this is a card that's just waiting for a few more earth dinosaurs to come out and then yeah. he will be a whole deck into himself just like cats he is he's going to be able to first strike a cats um, if you have if you have two dinosaurs in the arena or one dinosaur and one mountain terra this guy could potentially first strike a cats now you'd have to flip for first strike because cats has it as well better chance but than that's not. A, yeah that's a darn good chance and uh stone eater guy kudos is he a dinosaur no he's a fearsome critter so he would not be giving and getting the tribal boost with this no, guy. No, I the don't boomer. know if there is another earth dinosaur. I don't think there's another one right now. Most of the dinosaurs are water and, and are forest. You could do a oh, forest I'm earth of dino deck. You could do like mini T-Rexes and these guys potentially. Okay. And yes, yeah, yeah. salamanders are dinosaurs too. Flavor text here on the boomer says, this beastie can perform great leaps to outrun other beasties or even hunt its own prey. As a mostly reclusive creature, it wards off suspected dangers by mimicking a wolf's howl. Nice. Yeah, keep your eye on this card, guys. This is a card that I think is all of a sudden going to be very relevant. Anyway, I think that is it for Earth, right? That is it. Yep. All right, guys. If you made it this far, this is it. Thanks for watching. We're going to going to continue going through the set review like we mentioned yesterday with games in between we've got a bunch of spell books brewing especially you you've got some very tricky stuff on the horizon that i'm looking forward to testing out and uh yeah and we tomorrow really we'll get it. into what's next forest uh it is yep, yep. cool yep. cool cool forest frost light and neutral and water and then we wrap the set and then it'll probably be seance time. So <laughs> yeah. we're trying to like catch up, catch up, push ahead, um, and uh, and really just get more games in in general for you guys and for us. Yeah. So anyway, again, thanks for watching, guys. Appreciate all the likes and the comments. Hit that subscribe button. And if you'd like some more MetaZoo content, check out Caster Society here on YouTube. Link in the description below. We post three MetaZoo videos every week. Yes, we do. Also, if you'd like to support us, like I mentioned earlier, you can go to patreon.com backslash metabros. Big love to everybody. Thank you for watching. Thank you for commenting. Everybody, thank you for liking. You're such great people. We will be back soon with another episode of MetaBros. Later, guys. Later. Later.